Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is How To Architect, Architecture, Pedestrians, and the Wind. Fort Point Channel separates the seaport from downtown Boston. Thousands of people a day cross from one location to the other for work and recreation. The architecture of the Boston Seaport District is much like any other metropolitan city, with parks, restaurants, museums, hotels, and a convention center. What's unique about the area is the wind. It's easy for architects and engineers to think about stuff in their wheelhouse, like aesthetics or structural conditions. But what about how a new building impacts how a person feels walking through the city, standing outside a building, or simply waiting on the street corner for an Uber? The Boston Seaport is exposed to the Boston Main Channel and thus get strong winds from the northwest that commonly reach 34 miles an hour or more. In order to show the real impact for wind on pedestrians, I asked my friends at SimScale to put together a wind speed analysis. This video shows wind velocity distribution at pedestrian level. The three bridges used by automobiles and pedestrians alike experience wind at nearly free stream velocity due to the absence of any physical barriers. This video shows velocity contours together with velocity vectors. The smaller arrows represent lower wind speeds and the bigger ones represent higher. You can see that the Rockland Trust Bank Pavilion at the upper left of this image is exposed to direct wind. This creates a fresh breeze in the summer. A similar condition also occurs at the Institute of Contemporary Art further north or to the right in this image. This video shows velocity streamlines at pedestrian level through the use of fine curved lines and color. Notice the instantaneous gust of wind directly in front of this building caused by converging wind patterns further north and east. This next video shows velocity streamlines in plan view. It highlights phenomena like the Venturi effect where wind is squeezed between buildings and accelerates. This happens just behind the Contemporary Art Museum, along Northern Avenue, and Seaport Boulevard. Spiraling vortices of wind are noticeable at various locations in the video, as wind is recirculated or spins off the edge of buildings. In this video, you can see how the taller, more dense architectural areas at the top of the video block wind flow, which generally creates more pedestrian comfort downstream. This video shows a vertical velocity contour and highlights how wind travels over buildings, starting at the northern end of the Seaport District. This can be valuable in measuring wind downwash over the top of buildings. And in this final video series, you can see the velocity distribution of wind from the north using what's called a volumetric filter. The video shows airflow from a strong breeze to a moderate gale instantaneous gusts of wind of about 33 miles an hour, which can be quite unpleasant to pedestrians, are clear on both Congress Street and Seaport Boulevard. So, as you can see, building design isn't just about aesthetics or structure. Rather, it's also about the impact they have to the physical feel of an environment. The wind analysis videos that make this clear were made by SimScale. SimScale is the market leader in cloud-based engineering simulation. They have 150,000 users worldwide. SimScale is a simulation tool for FEA, CFD, and thermal analysis. The website and software they feature enables engineers and architects from large or small companies to run complex simulations and test their designs in minutes. Companies like WSP, Thornton Tomasetti, Arup, Power Engineers, and more use SimScale. All you have to do is sign up and upload your model with a free community account. Just see the links below in the description box for more. I'm Doug Pat. we'll see you next time.